Hello, gorgeous soul. Here is your June astrology. Can you believe that six months of the year, half the year is gone? But June is fabulous. It's packed with potential opportunity and a sprinkling of fate and destiny, which normally <laughs> I'm not into, nor do I quote. But the North Node is joining forces with Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. The North Node is our destiny. It's, you know, our greatest journey and it's what we're here for and it is providing us with the opportunity to grow and evolve and marvelous things are on their way could in, could even involve someone from the past or an opportunity from the past rocking up but this time we are ready to grab it this is a stunning month from the get-go here's your monthly astrology Libra, are you ready to truly come into your power? We hear that phrase bandied about, but let me tell you this, something extraordinary could happen to you this month. When Jupiter conjuncts the North Node on the 1st, it's a big turning point. Yes, we do have a fixed grand cross, which is in a wide orb, if you include the moon, which I always do, because I think it should be more included in transit. And you have this moment... And this unique moment to break through your fears. Have you given your power away to anyone? Is there something that's been keeping you powerless? This is a breakthrough moment. And in fact, you could end up far more powerful than you ever imagined. And also meet people that you consider extremely powerful that you completely connect with. Now, power can mean means different things to different people. So it's personal to you what you consider coming into your power is and what people or experiences you consider are powerful. But this is a gateway, an opportunity that's huge. And in fact, for the whole of this month, or most of this month up till the 21st, you're dealing with issues to do with power. And um, Mercury, for instance, is in that same position and it's joining forces with Uranus. So there's an unexpected twist that could land you in a, a position of power so all very exciting make sure you look out for that but also examine your relationship to power and embrace the wonder of you so crucial the full moon in sagittarius has a message come to you or an idea that could prove really important maybe it's something that you've kind of low-key been thinking about and suddenly boom it rises to the surface and you can put it into action look out and check your junk mail and everything there could be an important message coming your way on that day too now venus the planet of love and abundance is opening up possibility for you to mingle and mix with other people and to get your ideas out into the world and it's important because it's going to be there for four months in fact a group of people or a group project could come back in for you because it's going retro it's going backwards so it's super important that you reconnect with a group that's important or collaborate with someone that maybe you you missed a chance with but either way also it's great if you're single and you want to meet someone you could meet them in a group gathering or i suppose actually it could even refer to online because that is also a way that we all connect with each other but it's a good time put it that way and you're feeling much more sociable this month and able to get out and about. Pluto is going back into Capricorn. Now, obviously, Pluto was there for donkey's years and it's now going back. So you may be revisiting some big Pluto-like experience connected to home and family. And it's the final lessons to do with home and family about change and rebirth. Mercury is shifting signs on the 11th of June and going into Gemini. You're starting to talk about having an adventure or expressing yourself or doing something where you're stretching yourself. And if you're ever going to do that, 
this is the month to do it. There are opportunities out there. You may travel, you may study, but you're throwing yourself into something you've never done before. And if you're not doing that, I highly recommend that you do, particularly when Mercury sextiles, sextiles a good thing, Venus on the 17th of June. So much excitement for you. It's fabulous. Um, the new moon also in Gemini is a chance for you to commit to something which is about exploring and expanding and again stretching yourself and if, there, if you have any fears around that or has anything been stopping you doing that then you can release that on this new moon and if you're like oh, I'd love to travel can't afford it at the moment Michelle then this is the perfect new moon to manifest that so get your manifesting in on the 18th of June it's a powerful time for you now the sun and Mercury go into Cancer 21st for the sun, 27th for Mercury, and it's a perfect time from then onwards to think about your career or your reputation or what you believe in passionately and vehemently about, and you're going to be seen in some way and you're in a much more powerful position. So all in all, this is a really great month. Enjoy. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. So why do we at Michelle Knight give you a five minute, no questions asked guarantee? Well, our psychics are some of the very best in the world. They are handpicked. They have five rigorous test readings, the final one with me, and I require very detailed information, things they couldn't possibly know just by looking at Google or social media. We want you to be totally blown away by your reading to feel that you've chosen a psychic who you can bond with, who gets you and gives you such specific information, you feel completely reassured. If this doesn't happen within the first five minutes, don't be shy, just put down the phone and your minutes will be topped up or refunded. Your reading should be uplifting, full of clarity and advice and leave you empowered to make the right decisions for you. We want Michelle Knight to be your spiritual home.